Look at that. Good morning, girl. I just finished a home workout and I'm about to do my body hair skincare routine. So I figured let's do it together. I'm gonna do an exfoliating routine today because after I work out and I've got sweat on my skin, I, and just in general, I've just been into exfoliating my skin, but there's a science to it, right? Because you don't want to exfoliate too much because then I have had instances where my skin is wicked dry. I want to show you an exfoliating body care shower situation routine. So if you're into that, keep on watching. All links of products that I use are gonna be down below just so you know, and I have my braids at the tippity top of my head, as you can see. I did a 45 minute stair stepper routine, which was just at home. I didn't sweat too much, but I did sweat. You feel what I'm saying? I got a little steamy, you feel me? I wasn't going too rough and rugged, but I was doing a little something. I'll link that below in case you want it. This sports bar is Amazon, and then I have on these black short shorts that you cannot see. First for skin, this is what always gets my mind just jumbled because there are so many options, but let's just pick one and I'll explain the way through. I want to do something to exfoliate my skin, all right? there. Are Again, lots of options. What I'm gonna use, this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Gentle Peeling Water, okay? This can be used all over your face to clean your makeup off and also to exfoliate your skin. It has 1% PHA and glycolic acid in it. The minute I see glycolic acid, I think exfoliation, all right? I'm gonna use this in my T-zone, mainly my chin, because my chin be acting up. I got a clean cotton pad. And I keep those right here at my counter. I just wanna do this as an extra step before I actually wash my face. Now, I'm not gonna use a glycolic or an exfoliating cleanser right now because I'm gonna do this step. So what I do is I pick and choose. I'm not gonna do both because I have rosacea and that could aggravate my skin and I'm not trying to cause myself a breakout. The reason why I'm also not gonna use an exfoliating face wash is because today, number one, I don't want to. And number two, I don't use a face wash that has exfoliating ingredients in it often because I have microbladed brows. When I do it, I make sure that I keep that product on my forehead, maybe the sides of my face right here, but I gotta be careful because of the tail of my brow. And then I will do the bottom part of my face. Normally, if I'm gonna use a face wash that does exfoliate, I'll do it at the sink so I can watch what I'm doing and make sure that I don't touch my breath. First of all, I said T-zone, I did my whole face. <laughs> I said tease on I don't want this, but you gonna be thinking, well, when you rinse off the face wash from your forehead, it's gonna get onto your brows. Very true. However, the contact time is very limited. So to me, I just feel like it's not going to take away the, the pigment of my brows because it wasn't sitting on there. You feel what I'm saying? That's just what I think. I'm getting my hairline because you don't want any oil to stay over there, especially after a workout, because come on, then you have the bumps and breakouts on your face and your forehead and your hairline and no one has time for that. Oh, let me show you another thing too that I like to do. I'll do this either before or after the shower, but let's do it now. I'm gonna take the same product because again, once I see glycolic acid, salicylic acid, I know that it's going to do what? Exfoliate my skin and I put a lot of product, so I'm squeezing it off into the sink. I'm gonna clean my ears. I don't wash my ears in the shower often and you might think, oh, that's so disgusting, let me explain. I don't be wanting to get my hair wet in every shower routine. Now, if I wash my hair, yes, I'm gonna do my panoxyl on my ears, my neck, back of my neck, you've seen that, right? But if I'm not gonna wash my hair, like I have braids right now, I need to wash my ears and I don't wanna wet my hair accidentally and it's just too much. I don't wear shower caps, okay? Just hear me out. So I use a product like this, anything that has an exfoliating ingredient in it and then I get all inside my ears, yes, I do clean my ears with q-tips too but this is an extra step get the behind everything alcohol is cool but this is going to exfoliate the skin okay it's going to melt away the dead skin you want to also do that you should see the dead skin on this it's actually disgusting and that's normal our skin sheds just like our hair sheds you feel what i'm saying so we got to get it off and i don't want to just leave that there it's disgusting so i will do this and really get up in the ears because just cleaning it with a q-tip is not going to suffice you want to really get up in there and again it melts away the dead skin so good and i'll do this as often as I think about it, you feel me? And now that I'm here, let's just go to the back of the neck, honey. We're doing the extra steps and I wanna just show you that these are areas that are usually missed that you don't wanna miss because I saw this on I, on social somewhere and someone said that the sunglasses, the leg of it, the arm, smelled. Just imagine having an odor behind your ears and either knowing it or not knowing it and then you go try on sunglasses and it freaking smells. It's just disgusting. Think about it, soap and water, unless it's antibacterial soap, it ain't really gonna get this, this situation back here. 
here. So I love to use a product that has any of these exfoliating ingredients in it. And this is a very affordable one that you can certainly do. Wow, my face feels clean. It doesn't feel dry, which is great. It feels clean. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so since we have this product right here, let's just keep it, you feel me? No need to go buy something different if you're gonna stick with this. And I'm going to do my armpits, all right? So let's get that going. I got another cotton pad and I'm just squeezing off the excess because I'm just extra like that. You don't gotta squeeze too much. I just did a lot, you feel me? So let's get our armpits. I do laser and then I shave in between so I don't have any hair there. But of course, if you have odor as a problem, then you know that by shaving your armpits or your groin or your butt crack, mm -hmm. let's just get to it. It's gonna help prevent the odor because hair does what? It holds onto odor high, okay? So I'm taking the same thing and I'm wiping my armpits. And then I'll normally wipe it dry if I've done this after I shower. Cause you can do this before or after the shower. I'm doing it now before, either way it's fine. But I'm gonna leave it because I'm going to go do what? Shower, so it will come off, all right? This is going to clean out the bacteria under my armpits because like I always tell you, and I'll say it again in case you're new, our skin has bacteria on it, which is normal, okay? However, when we sweat and that sweat breaks down the bacteria on our skin, we get what? body odor. So I will do this every other day maybe and help to cancel out that bacteria so that when I do sweat, I don't smell. Do I get it right? No. Sometimes I'm like, oh, hi, a little bit of must. You feel what I'm saying? And I will literally midday go and get something like this or facial pad something and I'll just clean my armpits and within a few minutes, odor is gone. I'm not lying to you. I'm driving this home real hard, but it's just a simple, simple routine that you can do that'll just change your whole entire life. Now, what I also will do is use an exfoliating product on my feet. I don't get pedicures often. I haven't had a pedicure in what, a year and a half? I don't go get pedicures, okay? I do my own thing. I will use this on my feet, again, before or after the shower, just wipe it on your feet. It's going to eat away. Think of those little fishies in the pedicure bowls that at places like Vegas had it. I did it, I tried it, but I couldn't stand it. And they eat away at your, your feet. They eat away at the dead skin cells. A liquid like this or a wipe, you know, a facial wipe, what have you, that has exfoliating products in it will do the same thing. You just don't have to put the, your feet next to the fishies. It's not a, I see it right now type thing. It, you know, it's just, it's a routine. You gotta do the routine, you feel me? When you do the routine, make sure you give it a little shimmy. <laughs> I'm gonna get off camera. I'm going to put this in my groin area. This, this is not what Garnier told me to do, okay? This is what I do. So proceed with caution if you wanna follow everything that I'm saying, or if you're, if you're nervous, don't do it. But if you ask any dermatologist, they'll tell you even Panoxyl, which is a face and body wash, they will advise you to put that in your groin, honey, and put that in your butt crack to what? Cancel out the odor and help you feel and smell very very, very good. All right, I'm gonna do that off camera and then let's get in the shower. I'm gonna use an exfoliating body wash today. The body wash is not something that I use every day because I've done that before on accident and my skin was dry, okay? So exfoliating body wash is like a maybe twice a week type thing, you feel me? Because I have dry skin, I can't, I can't stand it. Let's go. All right, I'm out of the shower. That body wash felt really good. It's a gentle exfoliating body wash. So I still used my Sapo sponge and it was fine. It's not a body wash where I wanted to call it grits. You know, it doesn't have stuff in it that scrubs you. It seems like it's a chemical exfoliating body wash, okay? It uses a chemical system to exfoliate, not necessarily physical stuff like coffee grounds or anything like that, okay? Let's get some hydration on the face. This is Indeed Labs Hyaluron. It's essentially a hyaluronic acid. I'm gonna squeeze, oh, this is almost, dang it. Yeah, this is almost done. It's a gel and I like to do this right away. Morning and night, I use a hyaluronic acid right away to quench my face because it'd be real dry. I mean, my skin be real dry, okay? But definitely the face because I do exfoliating treatments to it. It just be needing, and I'm, I'm a mature woman, okay? So it be needing moisture, hello, like as we get older. <laughs> Focus on the hydration. So here's this and then I just let it sit like water, you feel me? And then depending on what I'm doing, I'll let it sit for longer, but not always. Like right now we're moving on, so we're gonna go right in with the next product. This is the Jizu Honey Infused Lip Oil. Let's get some of this going. It's a beautiful orange tint and it feels very comfortable on the lips. For eye cream, I'm gonna use this Innisfree Green Tea Caffeine Bright Eye Serum. I like it because you just push this down. I do a little bit, because I've pushed this down too much and gotten way too much product out. Little bit, and then this silver ball is just always cold. And then I rub it onto my eyes. It feels good if you like that feeling in the morning especially when you're doing 
doing your skincare. You can put this in the fridge, I suppose, but I don't even feel the need to do that. The silver thing is always cold. Eye cream is so important because we want to moisturize those smile lines. I like to express, I'm not gonna stop that, you feel me? So let's moisturize those areas so that when I rest my face, I don't still see the expression lines, okay? This is Sephora Collection Vitamin C and E Super Glow Serum. It is a very good product because vitamin C is going to even out dark spots, brighten the skin tone if your skin feels and looks dull. First of all, you wanna be exfoliating and you wanna be using a vitamin C. You wanna have a skincare routine in, in general, okay? So this is a body care, skincare, whole situation kind of video, you know? And I'm avoiding my microbladed brows as always. When I first got microblading done, I did not think about the fact that my skincare was gonna <laughs> fade my brows. So it faded real fast and that was an issue. Now, normally I bring my skincare down to my neck and chest, but because you saw that I put a body oil on in the shower, can't mix it. It's just, it's strange. Cause then when I go from here back to my face to put something back on, I'm transferring the body oil to my face and I don't want that on my face. You feel me? So that's why I'm stopping right here. I usually bring this down to neck and chest. Okay. Oh, and the brown sugar bay body oil. I use the rose one. It's a soft scent. And because it's soft and not very pronounced, I've been using it right in the shower as opposed to putting it on after my body lotion because it's a soft scent. And when I put on an oil after body lotion, I want it to be a loud scent. So if you like a soft scent, if you like rose, that's a good one to put on either before or after your lotion. You feel what I'm saying? That I use as a before. And you can see the skin is subtly yet still shiny. I feel nourished and I smell so good. I smell like fresh flowers, girl. And then, oh, I don't have the tinted Fenty SPF Vija Visa, the whole thing. I don't have the tinted one next to me. I need to use that, but let's just, <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Let's use the regular one, okay? Several, several pumps of these. Smells so good, I've been hooked because it's just easy. Normally, if I didn't have this one or any other moisturizer and SPF combined, then you gotta do moisturizer and then SPF on top. Now, it's not the end of the world, but this takes the extra step out. I know what I was so shocked to find out is that this is a mineral sheer sunscreen. I thought because it melts into the skin so well that this was a chemical sunscreen. No, I haven't been reading my fundamentals. So this is a mineral sunscreen, which is great because if you don't like a chemical sunscreen, then here's a good option for you because it melts into the skin and then this bluish purple cast does go away. The reason why it is blue purple is because that is the SPF. It's a powder that's broken down and formalized to either be sheer or not to be sheer. You feel what I'm saying? The good thing about this Fenty, SPF moisturizer is that it don't be leaving no white cast. I'm just working this in because I took a lot. You really should take a lot, like you're supposed to take a lot. A lot of people don't take enough. And normally this would go to neck and chest, but I already explained why. So it would usually help to diffuse some of this, but normally we're not taking enough product. You might feel like this looked like a lot, but it really should look like a lot. And look, I'm just working this through and we getting somewhere. It is melting and it is looking so good. My deep dark skin still looks beautiful and doesn't look light blue. You know, we're not giving Dolce and Gabbana light blue on the face. That's not what I came here for today. You feel what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Fenty. Look at the skin. Let's put the rest on the hands because you need SPF everywhere that's gonna touch the sun and the hands touch the sun. Face is hydrated. Look at the skin. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and now for the body. Ooh, let me show you what I've been gagging over as of late. I won't even lie. If I did not put on a body, body moisturizer, I'd be okay. Like I've done this and just going to bed. I'd be okay, but I want to hydrate my skin because I know I have dry skin and I don't want to deal with it. And I like the way that this smells and I want to show it to you. This is the Laura Mercier Serum Body Cream, okay? When I see serum, I'm in love. Why? Because it means that it's going to penetrate the skin a lot easier. It's not going to take 10 years to rub it in. It's going to melt easily. And it smells divine. This is the scent Almond Coconut. I, oh, I don't have it here. They have another one. What's it called? I can't remember. I have it in, in, the, in my closet. This smells divine and it leaves such a beautiful shine. Now, you might wonder, is it leaving an extra shine because I already have body oil on perhaps? But in the morning when I lotion up because part of my morning routine is lotioning because my skin gets dry at night. I mean, think about it. First of all, our skin naturally loses moisture at night, that's number one. And then when you have the AC or the heat on, that's gonna draw out moisture from your skin. So it's just a whole dry situation. And I just avoided my armpits when I did that, okay? Cause we're gonna do something different for the armpits. It is just so good. And my skin looks phenomenal and it lasts, it stays. I love this body cream too much. I love it. Laura Mercier, y'all have done the daggone thing. 
And this almond coconut, oh, it just smells so good. So let's get the back. And if you're at Ghanaian, you know how to stretch your arm. Look at my tan lines. You know how to stretch your arm like this. <laughs> I remember all the days of my mom being like, Mena, rabesa mi chimame. Come and lotion my back for me. <laughs> So I learned how to go like this in lotion. If you like me, come and let me know. Let's lotion the whole entire body and then come back. This is what it is. I went and got it. I have this in the serum body cream as well. It's Laura Mercier. This is Amber Vanille Eau de Parfum. Love this. So let's just put this on top of the other scent. You see, I layer based on how I feel, what I think it's gonna come out like, and usually it comes out great. So it just is what it is. I don't have the almond coconut fragrance. I'm not even sure if they even carry that, but I love Amber Vanille. Ooh, I love amber, I love vanilla. Just overspray, live your life, do you, hold your breath. I haven't breathed in since I began talking. Look away to breathe, okay, and then come back. Let's get the legs. I literally drenched my whole entire leg back and front with this, you feel me? Both legs, don't play. It's a nice fine mist that comes out of this. And I'll do my stomach too. I just get everywhere. And I get top of my hands because when you reach out your hand to get your coffee from the barista or you gesture toward anyone while speaking, what's gonna happen? Your scent is gonna go right to them. My dad's yeah. And they're gonna enjoy it because you just layered and you just did so much. Links are in the description down below. Now let's do some makeup. This came in the mail just now. So let's see what's inside it. Thank you, Nars, by the way. Ooh, maybe it's something I can use today for my makeup. Let's see. I might used to work at MAC and one of the makeup artists there, I think she also worked, she was a full-time, I was freelance. And I think she worked for Nars, something, something. I always, I always felt like Nars was very elevated. I still consider Nars to be that way. All right, we got a nice insert. Some like it hot, the seductive summer collection. Okay, it's a summer collection. Okay, Nars. Okay, we got some stuff to use today. Yes, we got an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, and shadow sticks. This video is giving vlog in a way. If you like this kind of video, let me know. It's my first time doing it, and I wanna know how you feel about it. This is so sexy. It's a Laguna Ultimate Face Palette. Ooh, the browns are not gonna be dark enough, but we might be able to use some of these colors. I'm already spotting my transition color. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's watch all of these shadow sticks. This is the shade Oblivion. Adults only. Don't touch. Strip down, which looks just like my skin tone. Mambo. Rebellion. Faded. And the black is called Enigmatic. It's about to rain outside, hence why it got so dark behind me. I had to go and grab this Elf Soft Glam Satin Foundation because I recently tried it and I love this. I get why people love this. I really do. I'm using the shade Rich Neutral 64, which is darker for my face, but imagine my body because my body is darker than my face, especially since I was on vacation and I felt like I needed some more last time. It's medium buildable satin coverage, but I need some more, cause there's little spots like this that just need some more coverage, you know? And I'm gonna use this Fenty foundation brush to rub this in. Just look at this. Yo, this shade, you might beg to differ, but this looks so good. I love it. I love it. And the finish of this is so nice. And the fact that this stuff is drugstore, wicked affordable, achievable, attainable, no excuses. Even though it's summertime, some days, like if you're gonna be inside, and I definitely recommend if you have dry skin, like a good glow, a foundation like this, because maybe you don't want to be matte every day. I mean, I have a lot of foundations, I get that. You might not have as many as I do, but it's good to have some options, because if you're gonna be outside at Asuka party, you feel me, you want to be matte, 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 then you're gonna grab something different. If you're gonna be indoors with good AC, then maybe you want your skin to look hydrated and glowy. It, for me, it all depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going, you feel me? Yo, and I'm not sure if you realize, my forehead has broken out, crap. The product broke me out, and that's because I have rosacea. So don't be alarmed. It might not do your skin like it just did me. This will go away though. Tonight, I'll do my prescription treatment and this should go away. But I'm sure you noticed because I was sitting here scratching my forehead like, why am I so itchy? It's because I broke out. I'm just getting so sensitive. Good Lord. But I still press forward though. I still press forward. I got things to do. I ain't got time to be letting rosacea ruin my life. <laughs> I got this Gucci concealer because y'all told me to try it. I'm meaning to try it with the Gucci foundation, but at this point, I think the Gucci foundation is expired. I mean, what is it, two years? I gotta go take a look. <laughs> Do I even have it? Oh, just so many things happening. So many things are happening. So many things are happening, you feel me? The shade looks different based on the shade of foundation that I use, you feel me? So I know that I used it in one video and I can't recall, I feel like it wasn't light enough that time that I wore it because my skin was lighter and my foundation was lighter. I mean, I'm emphasizing because it means something. But now that my skin is darker since being in the sun in St. Lucia, my foundation is darker, which means that this concealer is going to look lighter when you put it on the backdrop of a darker foundation, okay? 
it's blending nicely. This is the shade 54W. Okay, to contour, I did my usual LYS stick bronzer. The shade is Worthy Deep. All links to products are below. I set my highlight with the Elf Cosmetics Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is the shade Medium Deep. If you ever see your powder looking like this, a little bit gray, it's because there's oil on it. So make sure you take a tissue and rub off the top layer. You're gonna unearth fresh powder right underneath it, all right? And the oil is from the transfer from the brush to the face to the product, the brush to the face to the product, you feel me? This foundation is medium, I wish it was full. I should get another concealer, but I'm too late and I don't feel like it right now, but I can still see this blemish right here. But if you love a good satin finish, medium coverage foundation, this e.l.f. satin one is so good. The contour looks crazy up against this highlight. Let the face finish, okay? Let me cook. I know it looks crazy. <laughs> We gotta get there, okay? It takes time. Somehow, some way, no matter how much my face tans, this One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation in the shade Dark 4G always looks good on me. It's sick. And this is an hourglass brush. There's no number to it. I love how fluffy this is. I'm focusing everywhere except where my contour is. I'm gonna go back over the contour in a second. Yo, I swear, sometimes I do makeup and I think it looks so hideous. It just has to come together. Like right now, I'm looking at this, I feel like it looks so stupid, but we ain't done yet. Okay, so this is the brush that I used to blend in my contour. It still has product on it. So let's go back over the contour with it. That's a trick, so you don't have to go get more product. Just get the leftover and put it back. The brush that had the powder on it, just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Normally I would do a powder contour to deepen this, but I feel like it's enough. I don't wanna overkill this. Stuff just looks so different because my skin is darker. So it's just, just a lot different. <laughs> I have this hourglass stick blush that I've never used. It's called the Vanish Revel. What's the shade? The Vanish Stick Blush, maybe that's the name of it. And then the shade is Revel. Perhaps that's what it is, okay? Ah, this is so fiery and delicious. Back of the hand always, because I need to know what I'm getting into. I cannot be surprised when it comes to makeup. Oh, it's more of a red. I have not done red in ages. This looks more watermelon, but on my hand, cause I'm darker skinned, it looks more of a red. I don't know that I wanna do red right now. Ah, we're already here, let's do a red today. I feel like red ages me. I'm more so like orange. Let's see, it's pretty. I can see that even on my hand, that when I rubbed it in, it's matte. Almost looks like it's very long wearing. It's subtle. I'm sure it'd be a lot louder if I put this right onto my face. I don't do red. What do you think? I mean, it's subtle. I'm not doing a lot because I don't really want a red cheek right now. <laughs> Nah, I gotta wake up the face. I'm back to Denise and Myrick's Golden Hour. I just need orange. This blemish is getting on my nerves because it keeps on showing, but I need the orange. Something about orange just makes me so happy on my face. It just looks, it looks better, you know? What is your favorite color of blush? Comment, let me know. Do you do violet, purples? Do you like red? Do you like orange? Do you just do bronzer and no blush? I mean, there are people who don't do blush, right? Are you just a no, I don't want blush. I just prefer bronzer or you just prefer your contour. What are you normally doing? Comment and let me know. All right, let's reinforce this because this is the brush that I use to set my powder. This is the Sephora 79 brush and then the brush that had the contour product on it. I'm just going back over because the area toward my hairline, I don't want to have orange or red. I want that to be brown. I want there to be a gradient, you feel me? I must say this color right here is not only gorgeous, I always do a reddish brown in my crease. It's creamy, it feels really creamy and beautiful. Now I need to take out my brow pencil to just fix this front area once I finish my crease, however. But yeah, this looks creamy, really nice. Let's get underneath the eyes. A lot of these colors in the NARS Total Seduction eyeshadow sticks were really beautiful, but I haven't done a black smoky eye in a while. We have to do it. This is enigmatic and we're gonna just draw. Okay, this is not looking as black as I hoped. You see, there are some blacks that are black. This is looking like a dark gray. Okay, I mean, not terrible. If you want a subtle black shadow stick, then this will be for you, but this looks like a dark gray. Maybe I just misunderstood. When I did the swatch, I thought this was black. Okay. We 
gonna make this work? Hey, listen, if it was darker, then there's more room for error. Cause if you've ever done a black smoky eye, then you know, ooh, it can be so messy. But the good thing is that this is a shadow, sh I almost said shadow stick. This is a shadow stick, okay? So we, we're not gonna have the mess that you would have if I were to put a black eyeshadow on top of this. Now, I could intensify it. I could use this as a base and then put a black eyeshadow on top. But yo, those days, the days of patting on an eyeshadow product and trying to make sure you don't get it on your face, <gasps> those days are over. Blending out the line with this random elf shadow brush so that there's no harsh line. This is blending really nicely. The black almost looks green, like white. It, it just does not look like what I expected. I mean, I like it though. I will say, I like it. Now, I need it to connect with the front of my brow. You know me, it just needs to connect. I don't like that gap. So I'm gonna apply some of this product here and then blend it. It needs to just go into the brow, okay? I am still in love with this Estee Lauder mascara. It is just so good. It's so thick. If you like a thick, chunky, clumpy, not clumpy because you can spread it out. You feel me? Like wiggle, wiggle and separate the lashes. But if you like a thick, full lash with some length, this is it. This is it, baby. I'm gonna highlight the inner eye with this really beautiful golden color. Let's see how this, ooh. I'm tapping some off on my hand because I don't want a mess to fall on my face. Oh, it's orange. It's an orangey gold. Would you call it bronzy? I don't even know. Hmm. Yeah, I like a bronzy gold because you've got champagne gold, almost like a silver, and this is definitely orange. I'm wiping off the excess and then blending because I want it to be brighter. So I'm gonna go over this with another highlighter shade in this palette. This one's more yellow, this is more silver. So taking that second one, All right, we're all done. It feels like this was such a long video. Again, if you like this more relaxed two, three, five in one situation, comment and let me know. All the products that I've used are also down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.